<clears throat> so, like, uh, there's a little valid skepticism being that you don't want to be excited or about uh, techno new technology. You know, even though it seems like uh, fringe, like the Unabomber or something like that, like he's anti-technology, whatever. I don't even know if he's real, but... Um, It's possible that with sandbox tools and physics engines and uh, destructible environments and re uh, customizable destructible environments that uh, open source and integrating could lead to something like a stream of consciousness that could be uh, observed while people interacting with it. And it would be used to collect uh, harvest all data and aggregate and collect people's identities and debt for real, like, cause all that should be geared up to where you're sending in permanent evidence of interaction you know like the blockchain right like everybody like some things that are memos and the things that are on there since somebody can see that shit, everything that happened every step can be traced so getting a lot of people to using you know and again sometimes they can say it's the greatest thing in the world and sometimes they can say it's demonizing and we're not regulated and everything and Call it Space Force. Because, uh, you know, some of the block, like quantum tangle technology is on the blockchain too. It's not crypto. You got to understand that. It's not crypto. Uh, and the qu quantum uh, processing that's catch up, that's catching up, right? Or something like this. Uh, it's going to be testing the strength of the seal. That's why we need a cyber division for the post office. It's gonna be back in the military, right? Legitimate pension, right? Uh, you have a politician bureaucrat that's afraid of encryption, like they're afraid of end over end encryption. It's like their policy to be vague and overarching in their legislation, then they're perfect for setting them in, up in charge of something that you need for it to be vague to the population, which is weird because it's something to will to affect our own functionality, like new functionality. So why are they spazzing out about it? You know what I mean? Now they have a problem with non-elected delegates, state positions, validating uh, uh, transact transactions, uh, what's it called? Decentralized validators. Because uh, they want to um, censor the, the uh, decentralized validators of Ethereum. So, right? so come through its regulation and state stage of uh, the fall out of a, a financial an exchange that uh, was compelled by fandom and everybody's uh, love of the, the like Sam Bankman Freed. They were heroes to crypto that it actually created the situation for them to n not to have leeway and not scrutiny by uh, financial institutions. So the institutions are getting out now, but they're partially at fault so they can get right back in because they know what's up. They, they staged all this shit to fall out, to unfurl in a way that's going to affect what they need from it, regardless of how everybody else refers to everything. And these might seem like radical ideas, but it really doesn't even fucking matter. You know, like you can have some radical ideas. Maybe you're more to accurate. Maybe you can lend some perspective and then I can borrow. What the fuck? 
because people don't want to hear that something has been a work and everything is a stage. If all the world is a stage, then you have to imagine that this is like a great work. And just because everybody's getting hyped up over people going to jail. First of all, some of these people have already settled up, paid off the Bahamas, arranged to move to go to Dubai, uh, has a nest egg of a billion dollars or not have to worry about them. I don't even think that they ever planned on keeping the, uh, well, I don't know how many other billions of dollars or whatever, because it really doesn't matter. It doesn't, at that point, it doesn't fucking matter. <clears throat> Whether eight billion or one billion fucking dollars, it doesn't really fucking matter unless you think you got to show and prove by going out and buying more shit and showing somebody to impre impress them. That's like nar narcissism. Right? Dumb. Dumb. And what it would be like dupers to like, because it'd be like, yeah, I, mean, I can show you how to get it in a pandemic. Do you mean, because the Duper's Delight is all about having pulled off a of work and it's highly recognizable. So then what's the whole fucking point? What's the point? If everybody, rec if everybody can see it and they probably even know that people can detect it and fucking what's the point? Uh, it still has to confide in some someone or something like it still has to you're a frog you have a paper trail you're still gonna leave uh breadcrumbs <laughs> there's always somebody that knows how to fight frogs uh fuck but no i mean i don't think that he's going to jail or something even if he did go to jail it wouldn't be his jail is probably better than a lot of people's outside life like free life free in the it's all relative he still plays mini golf drives around in a, he's out in jail and he you know just because they they you can't tell that they're not in jail because they put a tie and make it look like they're in parochial boarding school or something get oh did he get him some act right did he get in their act some with some act right okay I mean, you know what I mean? Their bunk beds and shit look like some little kid's room with a fucking models and shit hanging off the ceiling and fucking, you fucking give me a break. Walking around a compound or driving a cart and fucking eating a turk, munching down on a fat ass turkey leg. Like, that's the same as some people's regular ass life. <laughs> it shows that they got reformed that they've been reformed you know well I mean what do you expect I don't know if people could take in the humanity of their beloved being like general main pop and you would know what would happen to them so it would be like on you again like he has almost has no choice, you know what I mean? But to keep them where they're not, someone's not jealous that they got two fucking mats to sleep on instead of everybody else. Like you have to become a trustee or something like that. Or, you know what I mean? Like imagine telling Jesse Smollett to go entertain the boy, the boys and shit, you know, like, like instead of getting, making everybody mad at him because he doesn't have, Thick enough mattress. They just got him out the next day. You don't even know what, why or what the fuck. It's like, so what's up with this? It's like, is, is he gonna go? Are they just gonna figure out a uh, halfway house situation? For like, it's like, it's, it's, it's no explanation, bro. <laughs> It's no explanation. We're just like, like it's just, it's a done deal. <laughs> I don't know if it's really funny though. I want to be laughing more. Like, Argh. yeah, but they want the vitriol. That's why they put this shit out and leave it in front of us. Like, 
they hang the shit out in front of us to, so they can get our um and be provocative and inciting us to want to become agitate agitators. And they just straight out come out and tell us, remember to agitate. Like, come on, Doug. Like, remember to agitate. I mean, you really can't take advice. What about your regular... Uh, you're expected to come through and people depending on you stuff like as far as resolve and focus uh, is enough then you know how to remember to add to God and you're saying and you confront these people and you let them know wherever they are wherever you've seen them that you're like not welcome <laughs> like you're nowhere <laughs> it's like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> like uh, okay just like uh, you know uh fucking Maxine Waters blows people kisses like that's hilarious bro she blows kisses to people <laughs> <laughs> oh it's, I, I know it's like I don't think anybody's ever been like Caught one out of the air. <laughs> oh shit! I wonder what one of those is worth for uh, uh, some political capital or something. You can go. You can spend it in uh, uh, sandals or something like that. Uh, sandals. It'll get you. Uh, a VIP sweet. All right. Uh.